Hey guys, this time I'm going to make a blueberry and a matcha cheesecake with homemade yogurt. Homemade yogurt is actually very easy to make and it's delicious, so please give it a try. First, add the yogurt starter culture or live yogurt and fresh milk in a jar and leave it in a room that is between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius for a day or follow the instructions of the yogurt starter culture. Next, I'm gonna make blueberry jam. All you need is blueberries, sugar, and lemon juice. Add the blueberries and sugar in a pot and heat them up until the sugar melts. Then add lemon juice and wait for the jam to cool down. Next, I'm gonna make butter. You can just use unsalted butter to skip this step. Put the double cream in the bottle and shake it for about five minutes. Pour out the buttermilk and you have fresh butter left in the bottle. Next, chop the white chocolate and melt it in a bowl. Save the matcha powder. Split the white chocolate in half and mix the matcha powder in one of them. Pour the matcha chocolate in a tray and draw lines with white chocolate like this. Or you can draw however you want. Press a cookie cutter or a glass into the chocolate to make a lid we'll use later. Place the chocolate into the fridge to harden. Next, whisk cream cheese, yogurt, and buttermilk in a bowl. Mix half with the matcha powder and half with the blueberry jam. Pour the cream in a glass and keep it in a fridge. Next, add the gelatin powder and water in a pot and boil them. Again, mix with the matcha powder and the blueberry jam. Then pour it onto the cream cheese. Next, I'm going to make a buttercream flour. Whisk the butter and white bean paste with blueberry and matcha powder. This time I'm using a tip and small turntable like these. Fill the piping bag with icing and now you're ready. Stick baking sheet on the turntable. Squeeze out the icing like this to make it into a flower shape. You only need one of each, but I made extra. Next, I'm going to make sponge sugar. Boil sugar and sugar syrup in a pot. When it becomes gold, cool down the pot to thicken the sugar.
Then shake it with a fork. Place your tops inside larger vases. You can decorate the chocolate lids however you want. For a fun effect, and to keep the cakes cool, put dry ice between the cups and vases, and pour water into it. Then put the lids on, and done. Go still someone else up. Do you want to try a blueberry? Yep. Here we go. Thanks. Did you like it, Pookie? <laughs> yeah. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of classes for basically everything you can imagine, from creative projects, to cooking classes, professional design, and business classes. My wife actually got ideas and recipes for my birthday presents from Skillshare last year, and honestly, I love them. She made me a handcrafted gift and my favorite banana bread, and that inspired me to make birthday presents for her in my last video. This time I also used Skillshare as a reference to make buttercream flour. I never knew that it was actually a thing. I'm pretty happy that I'm skilled enough to make one now. Anyone can take a class, try a project, or even sign up to teach classes. Once you become a member, you can take an unlimited number of classes, and premium membership is less than $10 a month, which is more affordable than most learning platforms out there. The first 1,000 people to sign up with the link below can get a free two-month trial. Thank you for watching.